Hi everyone, this is fourth video in series where we cover Oracle Fusion Middleware Administration Training Agenda. In this video, we are going to cover what topics we cover on day four of Oracle Fusion Middleware Administration Training. If you have not watched previous videos, I would suggest you go and have a look on our YouTube channel regarding day one, day two, and day three of Oracle Fusion Middleware Administration Training. On day four, we cover Oracle SOA Suite, which is another important product from Oracle Fusion Middleware family. So we start our day with architecture and various components of Oracle SOA Suite. So SOA Suite consists of various components like SOA infrastructure, mediator service, Bepel or business process execution language process management, Oracle Web Service Manager and few other components. Then we'll cover installation of Oracle SOA Suite that involves repository creation utility for creating SOA Suite schemas. Then we'll install Oracle SOA Suite on top of that and we'll configure WebLogic domain that will include SOA Suite application. This you're going to do on our machines remotely we provide a dedicated machine for each one of you to practice on our servers. We also provide step-by-step -step instructions to install Oracle SOA Suite. After installation, we'll cover start and stop of SOA Suite. We'll discuss the file system of Oracle SOA Suite, various homes, including Oracle Common Home that gets introduced when you install Fusion middleware product like SOA or Identity Management or OBIEE or Web Center. We'll then have a look at navigation of Enterprise Manager. Fusion midway control. So similar to Oracle Database Control, when you configure SOA Suite, you get Fusion middleware control, which is also called as EM console, and various navigation or, or flows uh, available through Enterprise Manager. We'll discuss on deploying SOA suite in high availability or employment reference architecture from Oracle. Install SOA suite on two or more machines as active active cluster. So things like coherence or how clustering happens, how you install and configure on multiple servers as a part of one cluster. We are going to discuss that in the class. Another important topic which we are going to cover is deployment of SOA composites. The developers develop SOA composite or SOA application and give a file to you to deploy on server. So you as an administrator deploy and that's quite common or regular task which you do. So we're going to cover deployment of SOA composite and there are various ways in which you can deploy SOA composite like end script from enterprise manager or from a command line weblogic scripting tool. So we're going to cover them and you will do a hands-on where you will get a SOA composite that you will deploy on the SOA environment that you configured earlier. We'll also have a look at common performance problems in SOA suite, including how do you purge the dehydration store. Also give you various Oracle My Support notes that you can refer in case you hit performance problems. So this covers day four topics which we are going to cover in Oracle Fusion Middleware Administration Training. Just a quick recap on what we are going to cover on day four. We are going to cover architecture and various components that make Oracle SOA Suite. We'll install and configure Oracle SOA Suite that you will be doing on our machines remotely. We'll also cover start and stop of SOA suite that you will do this on our servers. Walk through on the file system of SOA suite and important files in Oracle SOA. We'll navigate through enterprise manager or fusion middleware control or fusion middleware console and SOA console. We'll discuss how to deploy SOA in active active cluster for or for enterprise deployment. We'll also cover deployment of SOA composite or your custom developed SOA composite 
on SOA Suite. And then finally, we'll have a look at performance tuning overview of Oracle SOA Suite. If you would like to register for Oracle Fusion Middleware training, contact us on training at k21technologies.com. I repeat, it's training at k21technologies.com. Thank you. Thank you.